Hi there, this is Jerome Alexa from Pro Sectorials, where I talk about professional websites in five steps. And this is the sixth video for my SEO tutorial. If you didn't watch my previous one, just click on the link that you can see over there so you can watch it. In this next few videos, I'm going to talk about a few WordPress plugins that you can install that will decrease the uploading time for your website. The first one is called W3 Cache. And Cache is a temporary memory that the server or also the client part or both parts have which reduces the uploading time for a website. For example, once you go to the website for the first time, it takes longer to upload because you need to get all of the information belonging to it from those, their servers. However, if they are using this plugin, what may happen is some of the information belonging to that website is stored on your computer. What happens is the second time that you go to that website, it will take less time to upload because you will have that information stored on your computer and you don't need to get it from their servers. Okay, so in this video I'm going to explain how you can use this plugin. You need to go to your WordPress back office. And once you are here, you need to go to the plugin section and press add new. I already have this plugin installed quite a while and also I already have the definition set up. I'm just going to show to you the ones that I recommend and that I use for my website. Also this plugin you can either use it for free as I am using at the moment or you can also purchase the premium which comes with a few more features that allows you to increase the uploading time increase I mean decrease the uploading time for a website. Okay so you go to the search box and you search for W3 cache. You can see that it's the first one appearing. You can click on more details so you can read the description that they give to you so you can get a better idea about it. Also something that is important for you to notice is anytime that you decide to install a new plugin on your WordPress website, always make a backup. If you don't know how to do it, click on the link that you can see on the video so you can watch my other video where I explain this. I consider this plugin one of the best ones when it comes to caching. So once you get over here, you just need to press install and activate this plugin. Once this plugin is activated, you will have a new section appearing over here on your WordPress sidebar, which is called performance. Basically, we are going to change most of the options that you see over here, especially the one that says page cache, which I'm going to select now. And basically this is one of the most important parts because you want to cache uh, specific pages from your WordPress uh, website. Okay, so once you install this, some of the options that you see over here won't be checked. So make sure for you to check the same ones that I have. This one which is cache front page is really important because the front page is the page that people commonly go the most. Cache categories, tags, comments. Also SSL, the only ones that I don't check are this ones that is the cache URLs with carry string variables. I don't check that one, neither the one below. And I check also these two ones that you see over here. This last one is really up to you. If you have a subscription plugin installed on your website, you may want to use this option. What this does is, Depending on the roles that you have in your website, it won't cache uh, your website pages for that specific roles. And this may be useful if you have that kind of plugin installed on your website. Below, this is also something that you should check. This first option and the one below. This allows your website to upload a bit faster when the, someone goes to your website for the first time. However, you need to have a sitemap for this. And I just added my URL for my sitemap for this website. If you still don't have a sitemap, don't worry because later on in my next videos, I'm going to explain how you can do this. And below, you just need to leave the standard options that already come in, that come with the, the plugin. So now you just need to press save all settings.
okay now you go to the the second option that is called minify minify basically removes any blank spaces or any unnecessary characters that is in the coding for your javascript and also sss and that means that it makes your website upload a bit faster okay so in general you want to choose the first option rewrite url structure over here on html you just uh, enable this option and leave it as it comes also you want to enable the minify for javascript so enable it also the same thing for sss css i mean and basically you just leave it this way and press save all settings database uh, cache and object cache you really don't have many options to choose so I just leave it the standard options and now you go to browse cache browser cache and over here you want to select all of these options that you see so you basically select all of them and also this one that is called don't set cookies for static files in this video I'm just going really quickly through all of these options because explaining them all would take me a lot of time and it would be extremely boring so I'm just explaining the necessary parts that you need to configure when it comes to this plugin so you can get this quickly up there and also in CSS and JavaScript just select these options this first one second this ones and also HTML XML also select this option I think they already come some of them already come with the standard configuration so you don't need to select them so you basically just select all of these boxes that you see over here and the only one that you don't check is this one do not process uh, for H uh, four zero four errors for static objects with WordPress now you just need to press save all settings And if you have a CDN, you may want to configure that option. In this case, for this website, I don't have it. Well, I am using Cloudflare, but uh, they don't have an option for that. Actually, I think they, in the past they used to have it, but they no longer have it or it's just for premium. I'm not certain now. So now you need to go to general settings so you can enable these options on your website. In case you just want to experiment, experimentate the these options on your website, you may uh, enable this preview mode. This means that you will be the only person that has an administrator able to see the changes on your website. Anyone who goes to your website won't be able to see the changes that you did with this plugin. In page cache, you want to enable it. and below you want to select minify you want to enable this option so you can minify the coding of your website and basically just leave the standard options that you see below database cache also enable it same thing goes for object cache browser cache also now as I say see at the end if you have uh, if you're using max CDN or any of these options you might want to enable this option reverse proxy I don't use this neither do I, do I need monitoring so I just leave it this way if you have a license you want to put over here the key for the, your license malicious I just I just leave this box checked this one and basically all of the standard options that already come in that come with this plugin in case you want to save the the setup that you have on this plugin for this website you may want to pass this file to your computer actually you need to import it export it I mean export this file to your computer and later on if you have another website and you just set up this uh, this plugin you just need to import that that uh, that file and it will configure all of the options for you so now you just need to press save all settings and basically it's all done 
and this will allow you to have a better uploading speed for a website. It's quite simple and this is really just a, a really basic configuration that you can use for your website. Okay, so that is all for this video. Please subscribe so you can receive my weekly updates. So that is all. Stay tuned with Prosectorials and bye.